Hello students, how are you? I hope you are doing good and um, in a good health. So in this series, what we were doing, we were actually discussing about the um, NEET 2022 question paper. And in that question paper, we have already discussed approximately 15 questions of chemistry portion. And now we are going to move on with the next part that is your question number 66. Now let's see what does the question number 66 says and the question is on my screen. Okay. So this question is basically of the match the followings. So in the case of match the followings, we need to see one by one that what are the options which they are matching. So in the first list, they have given you hydrides and in the second, they have given their nature of the hydrides. So the nature, what they have given is electron precise, electron deficient, electron rich and ionic species. By default, for making the ionic species, we all know that we require the S block elements. So that is either group 1 or group 2 elements. And that is only one I can see in the option that is magnesium hydride. So by default, magnesium hydride is your ionic hydride. Now, on doing this, I can just see that there is only in the second list where A is combined with the fourth one. So this will be my answer. Now, let's just verify that whether others are matching it with or not. So, in this case, the second option what they have given you was the germanium. Germanium hydride. So, it, which family does germanium belongs to? Exactly. That belongs to the carbon family. So, in the carbon family, the germanium has outermost shell electrons to be four. So, let's see. The germanium will have outermost electron to be four. And for hydrogen, there are four hydrogens with it, like this. So in this case, if I'll count the electrons for the germanium, there will be exactly eight electrons. Eight electron system. And there is no extra electron which is present with the germanium in the outermost shell. So it is electron precise species. So that is B is related with one. So my first is matching and my second option is also matching. Now let's see with the third option. Third option is boron hydride. In the case of boron hydride, it's a very special case because it's give you banana bond. And banana bond is an electron deficient bond. So in this case, it's like this. So the C option is matching with the second one. And let's see what is the banana bond actually. So in the case of banana bond, what we have, we have boron, boron electrons, which are three in the outermost shell. And it is combining with the hydrogen electrons like this. Now in this case, the hydrogen, which is present in the center portion, there is the bonding part, which actually occurs. So here what happens, the boron, which is forming the bond, the banana bond, which is formed, that is I'm showing you. So the banana bond is formed like this, in which one boron is sharing, the, uh, sharing its electron, while other is not sharing its electron portion. So this is technically your banana bond, which is in the shape of banana. That's why it is called a banana bond. And boron is also included in this part. Now let's see the second option in this case. And the last option where HF. HF we know that it is an electron rich species. Because the fluorine has three lone pairs around its valence shell. So the correct answer is the second option. I hope you are able to understand the, all the concepts. And able to get the concepts clearly. So thank you for watching the video till end. And, um, Stay tuned for the coming solutions.